Hi guys, it's Tara and Ellis Tan from Sojourn Psychology and we are shooting another little video here. So um, something that we shared on our inspirations in the past little bit, we had this meme that says inner peace is the new success. And as Ellen, Ellis and I are just speaking together here today, we were, we we're noticing, you know, what what does the change that has occurred for all of us in 2020 really mean for us? So, um, yeah, Alice, why don't you start us off with this conversation? Sure. Yeah. So, I, so we're, we're kind of like, I guess, one thing that I try to be mindful of as, uh, uh, as a therapist is kind of like taking my ideas of like what frame of mind I'm using. And so in this approach, I'm very much taking a um, cognitive behavioral therapy approach in my perspective on this matter. And, uh, but the way that I reframe it is, is that what are our cognitive um, thoughts? What are the thoughts of like how we view things? How do we make those, um, how, what, what are we comparing ourselves to? And so like with the changes that have happened in 2020, um, it's recognizing that there are changes, there are differences. I know for myself, pre-2020, I had an idea of what Ellis 2019 should look like, particularly with like success and my own values. So like family, career, um, school, hobbies, friends, family, all of those things had a certain value system. And so I know that like when I was achieving happiness or satisfaction, pre-2019 or uh, pre-2020 Ellis would have been like, okay, well, if you achieve this, this is your idea of success. If I'm going to push myself, I, if I achieve that, then I'm happy. I'm satisfied with that. But what I'm finding, and it's something that I'm running into with the, um, the families, the people, the kids that I work with, and myself included, is that 2020 is different. But what I didn't realize for myself until kind of reflecting was I didn't realize that that difference is not something that I've been mindful of. I'm still comparing myself to 2019. So my standards of success are still pre-2020, but 2020 is so different. The way that we work, the way we interact with our friends, the way that we interact with family. And so the issues with that is that if I'm comparing myself to pre-2020, I'm not gonna meet that success. And so something that I've been trying to be mindful of myself personally and with the people that I'm working with has been recognizing that there is a difference and restructuring my framework of success now. Restructuring that, recognizing that 2020 is different and finding acceptance that actually these are different standards that I can compare myself to. And if I only compare myself pre before this, I'm setting myself up for failure that dissonance, that, distor that distance between those um, levels of success are making me feel like I'm not successful. Right, yeah, I love how you say that. And so much has changed. So sometimes what I'll, I'll note with clients is like, we need to write out our job description for our life. So mm -hmm. our lives have been completely transformed and it's like, okay, what is Tara's job description or what is Ella's job description? I think for 2020, I turned 40 this year and I had big ideas, you know, like I was going to be in good shape and I was going to have a, actually have a party. And, you know, when, when we got locked down, um, I wasn't doing well, just like everybody else. My exercise was really hard. I've said to people, it feels like we're walking through cement with everything. All these goals just feel that much harder for me and the people that I speak to. So as I hear you speaking, unless it's like from an EFT perspective, we talk about the old view of self and others and the new view of self and others. In 2020, we're having this correction. And in the experience that we're all enduring, we're, we're just being challenged on how do I view myself and others now, where before I had all these goals to be, you know, a hot 40 year old lady at my party, I guess. And then when I actually experienced my 40th birthday, it was different. It was about being with a couple people that mattered a lot to me. It was about a good friend sending me flowers and that was a surprise and just a different level of vulnerability, I guess, than I had anticipated for myself. Yeah. Hmm. I really love when you said you write out that job description too. And I think that's something that um, I talked about previously in the, one of the past ones. We talked about like 
just even making a parent, making concrete, what are you actually dealing with? Because I, I find that like you're doing these comparisons all the time, even unconsciously. You're just like, where am I at? Where am I at? And I know that for myself, because I, I don't actually know what I'm comparing myself to. I can be setting up myself up for failure, even if I don't know it. And so like, I love that idea. Writing that out gives me an idea of like, well, actually, this is what 2019 Ellis um, personal goals look like with friends or you mentioned fitness or something like that. Actually seeing that helps me recognize, well, that's totally unachievable in 2020. <laughs> I can't do that with all the restrictions and the risks that we have to take um, in uh, making our decisions in our day to day. I just can't do that. When I, by, by being able to see that, um, it gives me a chance to even challenge it, Let, reframe what 2020 success might actually look like. Exactly. And, and we will be changed by 2020. And, um, and so the thing is, is if we avoid the change and the discomfort that we're going through, then we will be limited and we will be more traumatized by what's going mm. on. However, if we notice the, the emotions and we address our behavior, then the action, you know, that's the CBT thing, that shift, the real meaning making of this is like, yeah, it's hard, it sucks, we all have to change. But then we become a better version or a newer version of ourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good, okay, well, we can uh... Yeah. Or did you want to say anything else before we went No, I, I guess it's just, it's my last CBT piece over here, sorry. As you <laughs> talked about the change and the difference that we are going to change, that's something that I always like talk about, like, what do we have control over? And a lot of these things we don't. And so accepting, like, worrying about that, that like, oh, there's, a di there's change happening, there's difference happening. I just, finding acceptance to know that, like, there's nothing that I can do about this change, no matter how much I worry about that. It's something I keep in mind for myself to have, find peace with it. Right, right. Accept the things we cannot change and courage to change the things we can. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ellis. This is a, a lovely motivation and, and thought-provoking little piece that you and I are talking about. Absolutely. It was nice seeing you again, Tara. Okay, bye, Ellis.